Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. That is policy and rules under y'all. That is not it's state, it's law. State statute, it's not a state statute. Louisiana Revised Statute 14402. Is this public property or private property? Private property. It's private property. This clip is brought to us by Truth Be Told Audits. Their link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The clip starts at the Livingston Parish Jail. A man and woman are recording in a public lobby and are there to get complaint forms. The cops say that there is no recording and refer to a sign, which of course is their policy and not the law. You are allowed to record anywhere in public, as guess what, anyone is allowed to go there, so why wouldn't you be able to record? Obviously, the cops try and stop this from happening, but it doesn't go too well for them. Watch until the end to see them do the walk of shame. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, I prefer not to say right now, but I need a couple officer complaint forms. Uh, because it's our First Amendment right to film in the lobby. Okay, but that is not, that is policy and rules under y'all. That is not it's state, it's law. State statute, right? It's not a state statute. It's Louisiana Revised Statute 14402. Is this it's public property or private property? It's private property. It's, private property? It's, owned by the parish. it's owned by the parish, which is paid by tax dollars, correct? Correct. There you go. That's okay. the First Amendment. That's where the First Louisiana Amendment steps in, sir. 14402 prohibits what you're doing exactly right now. Okay. This is a jail. This is funded by the city tax dollars. You, 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 I've got to learn that. Y'all have got to learn I that. that. Before we go any further, we're about to go right pursuant to Miranda. Okay. Miranda. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Right to remain silent. Anything you say can. We'll be and this means that you're basically against the law. Right we got two people, two people over here behind us. You've got a foreign attorney who won't be appointed to you. Do you understand your right? Of course. Do you understand your right, ma'am? And you know, have you ever heard of a lawsuit? Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as we understand the lawsuit pro uh, process and all that. I need a couple officer complaint forms, please. He tried to ID me. They, they can't ID. We ain't breaking no laws. But I so. asked him if I committed a crime. He said no. No, there is no crime committed. And just because it says no cell phones and no recording devices, that is their rules and policies for the employees here. What happens? They might be able to get on. See these people. These people don't know the laws and their rights. This is what you call. This is what you call a public lobby. Right. This is public lobby. Any place that is public, you're allowed to film and video record in public. It's considered public property. We're allowed to film and record anything that we see from a public eye. This is a public lobby. There is no signs. There's no signs restriction or anything like that. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's fine. But y'all learn today. And what we can do, we can follow them. This is public property, sir. Uh, is there is there police complaint forms here? Yes or no? There is. Yes or no? I'm gonna follow, go and follow you on over here. I'm glad I came here. Don't block any driveways. Thank you for identifying because he don't want to identify. I appreciate that though. Y'all have a great night now. Hey, the education's free today. The education's always free. I wonder whether these cops just see them recording as an opportunity to try and kick them out so they don't have to help them. Or what would be even worse is that if they actually think that they aren't allowed to record and are doing it without knowing it is fine. We are in a day and age where people still refer to the building's policy and ignore the law. Surely they have some logic, right? I mean, if people are allowed to walk in and there are most likely cameras everywhere, what is wrong with someone recording something everyone can see for themselves? The clip ended in the best way possible as they did the walk of shame. Well done to this man recording for how he handled this situation. Can I get name and badge number, maybe a business card with a incident or a call? So as long as I get your information. Nope. Okay. Nope. 
This video is brought to us by Lemmy Audit You. A big shout out to Lenny. As always, make sure you guys check out his channel and subscribe to him. His link will be down in the description. The video begins with Lenny filming a church from a public sidewalk. Lenny has the police called on him by people who go to the church. The cops that turn up realize that he is not breaking the law. Although they know this, they still continue to throw around silly directives and on top of this, refuse to give the incident number to Lenny. And overall, some bad attitude was shown by the cops. Watch the full clip next. I see that. What are you doing? So you're not going to say what you're doing here this morning? Why don't you just move along? No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not shutting up. I'll just stay here and talk to you and then you can... Uh... Number 12. Right there. Hi. Hi. And the filming the license plates and stuff. Car number nine, right there. Cool. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. This is why you're filming all the cars. Am I being detained? No. no all right. Go. Have a good day. Oh, you too. I'm free to stay too. Where am I? I where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Huh? Huh? Where am I? Huh? <laughs> Do I really need to stay on public property? You think I don't know that since the age of like five? We learned that in kindergarten. Hey, Sarge, can I get name and badge number, maybe a business card with a incident or a call? So as long as I get your information. Nope. Okay. That's nope. my car. That's my name, Sergeant Deeks. Sergeant Deeks, what's yep. your badge number? Thirty-three ninety-nine. Thirty-three ninety-nine. Yep. I can't get an incident number. Nope. Why? You don't need one. Yeah, I do. You're detained. Police were called on me. I need so, it. I need then. I need your information. Nope. Okay then. See, this is a Fourth Amendment thing. Give me your information so I can have the officers document the report that we spoke to you. Nope. When you were in your legal rights of being on the sidewalk and everything was fine. I'll give you an incident number. I'm going to get it anyways. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. You have a good day. You too. Join the day? Yeah, I was talking about the church when it was built. You know, the nice structure of it and stuff. I was over at that church too and another church over there. A lot of churches in this little area and Sunday morning, you know. Hey, can I get your names and badge numbers as well? What? Is that a no? No name and badge number? Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Be safe out there. Watch out for uh, maniacs. Yeah, of course they're everywhere. They're, every they're all in town for the uh, solar eclipse. I'll be getting your body cam, his body cam, their body cams. I'll pull your whole record. <laughs> See how long he's going to sit there. Wasting time. And does he have his lights on? Oh, he has his lights on, so he's, he's doing that right. He's putting caution to the wind there. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Have a good day. Bye-bye. This man at the beginning really must have had something against Lenny for him to confront him about recording outside on a public sidewalk. And not only this, but to also call the cops just for this is crazy. At least the cops understood that Lenny wasn't breaking the law, but they always have to ruin it by throwing around silly directives. And they add to it by not giving the incident number. How hard is it to give over a simple number that isn't hard for you to access? A bunch of bad attitudes as well, which was not needed as there were no laws being broken whatsoever. Information through this window, you know, their name, date of birth, other things like that before we take them back there. Yeah. You know, so that, that sign is just for the privacy of the other people in here. And 
This clip is brought to us by Auditing Erie County. A big shout out to Dan. Be sure to check out his channel and while you're there, subscribe to him. Their channel will be linked down in the description. The clip starts off at the village of Depew PD. Dan confronts the department about an unconstitutional sign that was put up and says there was no recording in the public lobby. Yet again, there was no penal code attached. The cop that Dan was speaking to seems to be understanding and willing to pass on his concern. Watch the full clip to see Dan confront the department. Village of Pew Police Department is brought to my attention by a resident and subscriber that we have an unconstitutional sign that has gone up. Yeah, can I talk to a uh, supervisor? Okay, regarding... Uh, this sign. Okay. Um, you can have a seat. Whoever's in charge, I'd like to talk to them about that sign. Okay, you can have a seat, please. We can't just hang signs around here without penal code and law behind them. Dumb signs are unconstitutional and illegal. I, I you, you asked to speak to the supervisor? Yeah, can I get your name? Yes, I'm Lieutenant Ruffermat with the uh, Village Depew Police Department here. Hi, um, these signs on the walls in here, I'd like to know where they get their authority from. Well, these signs right here, uh, obviously we're not enforcing them, or, or we would have came and said something to you. Yeah, but we, we just have them up for the public that comes in to report crimes to give them their privacy on reporting a crime. You know, we, we, we want to look out for their, because no, a lot of times I get they're that. passing their personal I get information this, But it says them. members of the public are prohibited from, and uh, all I'm saying is we got to, we gotta, nowadays we got to start thinking about the image of what we're portraying to the public. Like things like Uvalde and that, the people know those signs are illegal because they contacted me to come down here and address that. And I'd like to okay. just come down here and address that because even if somebody's in here to give a, give a, a report, right? Right. You have a room in the back where you could take them in the back of, and, and do something in private and create right. privacy, well, initially, right? Initially, we get everybody's information through this window. You know, their name, date of birth, other things like that before we take them back there. Yeah. You know, so that, that sign is just for the privacy of the other people in here. And like I said, I didn't put them up. I can pass this up. I'll pass it up the chain that there's concerns about these signs, and, and I'll see what they say. I but mean, uh, you, you changed it to there. They're members of the public. Please be courteous if you are video recording in here while someone's giving documents. Those signs would be awesome. Yep. Simple things like this. This is a bad image. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, obviously, we know it's not illegal. Right, because and you know, you know right. too, that we, weren't, we didn't enforce it, right? I, I came here because yeah. you requested to talk well, to Well, she told right? me I had to shut my camera off. Okay, well, we'll uh, you know, I can address that also, but um, we're here. I just don't want people to think that they can just put up a sign, because, like, you see this sign here, but if we go out here and we see this sign here, this one's got penal code on it that makes this one official. You know what I mean? Like, without that penal code, that sign is just a sign that lays in to try to enforce it on the general public. You know not to. I'll check into the changing the wording on those signs. If I can, I'm going to pass it up to my uh, to my supervisors, and uh, we'll see about getting that changed. That's all we're I'm looking for. for to get to the all right, man. Okay. Thank you. Going, man. Dan makes a great point in this clip. Even these buildings know what they're doing, and the official signs they will put up the penal code beside the sign, but for the signs that aren't official, there will be no penal code. They are clearly aware of this and just hope people don't know about it. The cop, to be fair to him, seemed to listen to Dan's concern and looked like he was willing to pass it on so that they could make a change. Whether he will or not is a whole different story, though. These departments can be very sneaky with their signs. Yes, um, you had two officers or two patrol vehicles over there. I don't know if it was just two officers, it may have been three, okay. sitting on private property conducting traffic site or traffic stops. This video was brought to us by Central Civilian Auditor. Make sure you guys check out their channel. It will be linked down in the description. The video begins with a man confronting the Perry Police Department about two officers parked on private property, allegedly without permission. The man recording has a long conversation with a cop about the situation. The two men both stay calm throughout. The man with the camera explains it very thoroughly. The lieutenant at the end is very professional and even comes around to admitting a few things. Watch the full clip to see what the lieutenant admits to. I am located at the Perry Police Department. Um, I, well, actually, I just came to file a complaint real quick. Okay. Um, you, got, you got two officers out on Plaza Drive that are sitting on private property conducting traffic stops. Okay. So I just wanted to submit my complaint to you on that. Okay. Well, I guess the trouble is they work hard to come handle. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, 
Do you know for a fact they don't have permission to be doing that? Um, that's why I'm coming to you, but okay. um, well, typically you don't get permission. Mr. Dunn, we, you know, we don't, <laughs> we don't just trespass people properly. Okay, usually it has to be written permission, so. No, sir, it doesn't. You got verbal permission from the landlord? I don't know. I'm okay. just trying well, to tell you that, you know, I appreciate your efforts, but we will run the police department. But I'll have the lieutenant come take your complaint. Okay. okay. Well, just let you know they're sitting on uh, somebody's personal property and conducting Is that traffic. Person complaining to you? I'm making the complaint. Is this your property? I'm making the complaint, and they're stopping property? people into another piece of private property. So they're it's we'll conducting business. I'll, I'll have the lieutenant get with you just now. Lieutenant who? Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe? Yes, sir. He's okay. Well, Thank you. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey. I'm Lieutenant Sutcliffe for the police department today. Okay. So you had a complaint you'd like to file? Yes. Um, you had two officers or two patrol vehicles over there. I don't know if it was just two officers. It may have been three. Okay. Sitting on private property conducting traffic cita or traffic stops okay. off of Plaza Drive. Uh, they sit there quite a bit. Okay. And um, they are pulling people over. I guess for who aren't turn, using turn signals at a stop sign or um, not stopping all the way and pulling them over onto private property as well too, conducting um, business. What part? Of, where, where on Plaza Drive? Is at the place? very end of Plaza Drive, sitting on Perry's LLC's property. So they're technically sitting on private property, conducting traffic citations and pulling people over onto private property. So I don't think that's right to do so. Um, are you the owner of that private property? Um, not, I'm not the owner of the private property. Okay. Uh, you don't have to be the owner of the private property, but they are blocking access to that. Well, so I if I, ask you, I know you, know, you had contact with the owner, if that was something that you know, and had discussed. Uh, that's and not really that important. The, pro the, the, the important part of it is that they're on private property conducting official business. Well, you have to have permission from the landowner in order to be on the property. So and then if you're conducting official government business, for an officer to be on somebody's property, you have to have permission from the op from them, or have to have a warrant in order to access their property. Which I don't know if either one you have either one of those. So a lot of times, most of the time when we do traffic enforcement, you're right. We're usually on the like the right way of the road, mm -hmm. um, or we're sitting in the median. We're not typically on someone's property. There are times where we will go park in someone's driveway of a private residence, and usually we we'll get the permission if they ask us to come out there run radar in the neighborhood or do some kind of traffic enforcement will do that mm -hmm. um, but I got to concede to you typically when it uh, appears to be commercial property um, more often than not you're right most officers probably don't go up and ask the business owner do you mind if I sit here and watch the stop sign mm -hmm. um, so that's something I look into for you but you know my concerns you know is the constitutional side of things you know as far as conducting governmental business on private property without having permission to do I so Yes, ma'am. Um, Good to go. Right. Thank you very much. No problem. We'll get back, we'll yes. get back to you. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Could y'all just have a seat real quick and we grab some more? I have to say, this man with the camera stayed very calm and explained what happened to the cop very well. The cop he confronted at the start seems to not be very interested in what happened with the two cops. Although he does hold the conversation, you could tell he couldn't wait to get away from the conversation. If I was the man recording, I'm not sure if I would have the patience to be able to explain to these cops over and over again, when in reality, they don't care. Although it was quite hard for the man to get his point across for them to do anything, the lieutenant at the end was very professional and admitted a few things. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.